Hi, welcome to How to Create Your Own Search Part 5. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to apply weights to certain aspects of our data. So I added a new column to our data called Potential Revenue, or actually Estimated Revenue. And essentially what it is, is a RAM between function and that is copied and pasted in this O column. So I kind of shifted things around, and uh, if you want a new version of this spreadsheet, just uh, email me at xlsxgeek at gmail.com. We're also going to use more developer tools to create this scroll. And what the scroll does is it's going to apply weights to potential revenue and to our uh, character search. Um, and how we distribute that weight is going to be based on how we scroll up and down this developer tool right here. So as you can see, if we have less weight on our search, it organizes this data more based on our potential revenue uh, from greatest to least. So um, I'm going to show you exactly how we do that, and I hope you enjoy. We're going to use developer tools, VLOOKUP with indirect and address, and rank functions. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is get our developer tab on our Excel ribbon. And how you do that is you go to this Microsoft Office icon. You go to Excel Options. Then in Popular, go. there's a checkbox for Show Developer Tab in the ribbon. Check mark that, press OK, and we have our Developer Tab. Next thing we want to do is go into our Developer Tab, and like we did before in our last video, go into Controls, Insert, and uh, you know what? A lot of these things will work. What I ended up using was this guy. So placed it right here and I adjusted it to be a little bit smaller so what you're going to want to do from there is right click it go format control and your cell link is going to be there so it's at one percent if you drag it down so we're going to go equals a hundred minus this B6 cell. And that is going to give us basically the other portion of the 100%. So if we have 15% weight here, we have 85% weight here. So what we want to do here is you want to I'll delete that. You want to go equals this. There's no functions required in this. And you go and quotation. And you can either put, I put percent sign and then weight. But obviously you can put whatever you want. So so now it says 15% weight. I'm going to drag that formula down and it's going to do the same thing. So when I adjust this, I'm going to make this white again. When I adjust this, you can see that this changes as well. So click over to your data. Okay, we want to go over here, and what we're going to do is add a VLOOKUP. So before we organized our data by uh, this alphabetized view, so whatever we clicked, whether it's first and last, company name, website, whatever, it's always alphabetized. We want to keep that functionality there. We need to add a VLOOKUP here based on our alphabetization here. I know this looks like a very complex function. I pasted it here at the top, and it's going to go like this, equals VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is going to be this name. And our table ray, this is where it needs to change and get dynamic, so we're going to use this indirect function. Back in video two, we made this cell that switches based on what we picked. Um, and it's so right now we're looking in column D because we have first and last selected so we're going to go indirect that and what the indirect function does is it converts a cell reference into an actual reference within a function so if I go indirect D5 it'll treat it as a, if I'm actually selecting D5 um, and then we're going to add another and quote colon quote so it's going to be d5 through we're going to add an and address our row is going to be uh, we can just say we can just say 3000 doesn't really matter our column will be 
column O3. The reason we're doing O3 is because this estimated revenue is always going to be there. So column there. We can put we can actually put this value in any place. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to go O3 right there. And then we're going to close our indirect off and have our column index number going to be column O minus column. We're going to go indirect D again and 5. I'm going to go plus 1, false. And that is going to pull our estimated revenue based on this name. I know that was pretty complex, so I'm going to end up pasting that formula into the uh, info of this video. So once we're done writing that function, we also have to make sure that we have our absolute references in place. So T5 we're going to leave alone, but every other cell reference we're going to make absolute. So once I'm done with that, you press F4 on each one of those cell references, then you just copy it down. And what we're going to do now is apply ranks to both this and to our alphabetized rank right here. So right now we're going to go equals rank. Our number is there. Our reference is U5 through U1006. We're going to, in rank functions, you always make that permanent so it doesn't continue to drive that range down. We're going to make it ascending rank. Okay, so as you can see, we had a problem with uh, this starting out NA, and that's because there is an NA at the bottom of this list right here. Um, and the way to fix that is to go into here and go if error. And this time we're not going to go null, we're actually just going to go zero. So if there's an error, if you can't find it, just put a zero there. So if I drive that down, everything goes to normal. So I'm going to drag this all the way down. So now we've got to apply the same rank function to our alphabetized rank. And I'm going to show you how we do that. In the last video, we actually used um, this B column to rank our values based on alphabetically. So we're going to go back to the B column and rank it there. So I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to go equals rank. The number we're going to rank is here. The reference E5 through B1006. And our order is going to be descending. So the reason we want it descending in this case is because we're actually giving smaller values a greater value. So I'm going to drag this down. I'm just going to copy the cell, go all the way down. Then what I'm going to do is add an if error here. So now what we need to do is apply our weights. So we're going to take these cells above these ranks and we're going to go equals, go back to our search, go to search B6 use this as search B7, and then we're going to multiply these ranks by that weight. So I'm going to go times there, and I'm actually going to make that an absolute reference. So I'm going to drag that down. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I added the two rank values, and I drag that down, so it's just simply this plus this equals that. So this essentially just sums up these two rank functions uh, that are multiplied by the weights. And what that does is it gives us this total to rank. So we have this weight, this weighted rank, based on the value of the potential revenue, and this weighted rank based on how relevant the name of what we typed in is. And we're going to add those two together, and it's going to give us this total. And it's, what, it's the total that we rank last. And we do that back over here and we just use the same rank formula. So there's a ton of rank formulas in doing this. Um, there's actually four different ones, but you drag down thousands of rows. So uh, you can just go rank, and we're going to go that first value way over there, y5 through y5 through y1006, and you're going to put it in descending order, just like we did before. You can press enter. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to change the way this works. So we're going to change this. So C11, we did B through AB. We're going to go A 
through AB. And instead of going 19, we're going to go 20. I'm going to copy that down, let it load. So we're going to make this, copy this VLOOKUP over, over, keep everything else the same, and then make this 21. And that's going to pull up the revenue. So if you copy that down, the revenue for this person should come up. Okay, so now we are pulling up data that has a 50% weight of the highest potential revenue and a 50% weight of what we pull. So if I type in AL, it still works. Alexander Oyuso comes in, Alma Cove comes in, Alfonso comes in. However, you notice that Gerald comes in before Alyssa, and that's because Gerald has a higher potential revenue and it weights at 50. So, however, if I pull that back up to zero and give the search 100% weight like that, you'll notice that our old search would come up just as before. That's how you basically build a search engine based on a weight. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, email me at xlsxgeek or put it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I will hope to see you next time when I make another video. Thanks.